Holtz 100 Canada is the only North American partner and distributor of the patented Tomo Holtz 100 system. The Holtz 100 building system provides inhabitants with a building envelope made of pure solid wood, without glues, chemicals, or toxins. Our mission is to build the world's healthiest, safest, and most sustainable prefab solid wood building system by bringing healthy homes to families and communities around the world. Frank Garamani's passion for healthy and sustainable communities are the driving force behind the establishment of Holtz 100 Canada Inc., serving Canada and the United States. Frank brings with him 20 years of experience in real estate, as well as a background in agriculture and tree planting. Frank is also an advocate member of LEAD. The company Toma was founded in 1990 by Dr. Irwin Toma, founder and forester. It was due to an unexpected onset of asthma as reaction to synthetic fibers found in his new home that led Dr. Irwin Toma to develop and patent the Holtz 100 system in his quest to build the healthiest house for his children. Holtz 100 is a mass timber product used for floor, wall, and roof structures. The Toma Holtz 100 standard parts consist of layered wooden boards with a thickness of 20 millimeters to 60 millimeters, which are cross laminated horizontally, vertically, and diagonally, both outside and inside. They are connected to a standing core or to a top and bottom belt of 40 millimeters or 80 millimeters, connected by beech wood dowels. Synthetic glues or nails are not used, so the result is a solid wood wall up to 3 by 8 meters in size and up to 40 centimeters thick, which contain nothing but pure solid wood. Unique to Holtz 100 is the wood we use. Our wood is harvested during a specific lunar phase in the winter, which promotes protection from insects and fungus, thereby increasing its durability. Not only is the time of harvest important, it is also critical to allow the timber to dry with branches still attached to expel any residual sap or nutrients that may attract insects. The result is lumber that requires no preservatives and is both denser and lighter with less cracking, splitting, or warping over time. Why Holtz 100? Holtz 100 is the number one ecologically sustainable building system the only gold-certified cradle-to-cradle system that promotes a circular economy without waste. As a result of toxic waste and an increased awareness and concern for climate change and sustainable solutions, the old term cradle-to-grave has evolved to cradle-to-cradle. Instead of a linear focus on the health of a product from start to finish, designers must now consider the impact of each stage of the product's life cycle, from initial design to manufacturing and also to what happens at the end of the project's initial life cycle. Cradle to Cradle certification evaluates a product's sustainable traits based on five categories in the form of a scorecard. Material health, material reutilization, renewable energy and carbon management, water stewardship, and social fairness. Holtz 100 is made from untreated moonwood, harvested from sustainable FSC and PEFC certified timber, completely free of glues, toxic chemicals, and wood preservatives. Wood treated with glue or wood preservatives is not only harmful to the health of residents and end users due to the off-gassing of VOCs, the wood is regarded as hazardous waste at the end of its life cycle. With Holtz 100, there is no waste. Connected with only wood dowels, the Holtz 100 raw elements can be disassembled and reused to build again or composted as nutrients back into the ecosystem without harmful substances. Toma Holtz 100 is the only building manufacturer that provides a 50-year warranty against mold and condensation. That's a guarantee for your well-being. This is possible only through our unique harvesting methods with Moonwood. Holtz 100 embodies natural wood properties that improve construction quality, building performance, and health benefits, all packaged in one simple form, pure solid wood. Holtz 100 Benefits Holtz 100 is a homogenous product that is made without the use of glues. It is non-toxic. 
The advantage of a single material means no leaks with improved air tightness and no thermal bridges. Building with 100% wood requires an extremely low consumption of energy compared to other commonly used building materials such as steel, aluminum, concrete, and synthetics like vinyl and composite materials. A lot of energy is used in extraction, melting, and binding. All this energy consumption results in carbon emissions that have a cumulative impact on our climate. Glueless timber, such as Holtz 100, is the only building material that results in a negative carbon emission. Instead of releasing CO2, it stores carbon for the life of the product. 1,000 kilograms of wood stores 1,550 kilograms of carbon. That's 1.5 times its weight. Holtz 100 is prefabricated in energy self-sufficient factories. Our manufacturing plants are located in Germany and Austria. Electricity for the plant is generated from rooftop solar panels and heating is supplied from clean burn furnaces fed by wood chippings. The benefit of wood fabricated at the factory helps resolve many design and engineering challenges. The designs are modeled in 3D, CNC cut, and assembled to ensure fit and quality before it leaves the factory. This allows for a fast and efficient construction process on site with minimal to no waste at all. With detailed planning out of the way, the Holtz 100 wood building system allows a building to go up in a matter of days instead of months. With Holtz 100's wood monolithic structure, the building remains open to diffusion and can drain off or compensate for deviating levels in moisture, acting as a moisture control regulator without the addition of complex systems. For example, in light frame construction, it is common to install vapor barriers on the inside or warm side of the house to prevent condensation within the insulation layer, which will result in moisture buildup and mold growth. With Holtz 100, we do without the vapor barrier and build with materials that are open to diffusion from the inside, starting with wood. The key is breathability. The Holtz 100 system is a natural vapor barrier that is open to diffusion. The system remains breathable yet airtight and is able to maintain an ideal indoor healthy climate. This means highly sensitive plastic vapor control layers or glued panel materials can be dispensed of. Building performance is an important factor in choosing the right building construction method. The general method of evaluating this is by looking at R values or U values. R value is defined as thermal resistance, the material's ability to resist heat transfer through conduction. U-value is defined as thermal transmittance, the transfer of heat through material. U-value takes into account both conduction and radiation and is therefore a more reliable measure of energy performance, whereas R-values can be reduced as a result of penetrations, leaks during the construction process, and thermal bridges from stud locations. Together with the Graz University of Technology, we have carried out a dynamic building simulation that measured the cooling time of three different construction methods with similar U-values, lightweight construction, brick, and Holtz 100. Starting with an internal temperature of 21 degrees Celsius, with the heating turned off in the winter, this graph shows how long it took until the interior surfaces of each assembly reached 0 degrees Celsius. Lightweight construction with mineral wool insulation took 41 hours versus Holtz 100's 36 centimeter wall with HEP insulation which took 777 hours. Even with the same U-value, Holtz 100 performs better. It is important to understand that U-values or R-values are only a minimum standard to help guide our design and building process. This diagram shows the comparison of how much material is needed to achieve the same U-value of 0.22. A wall made of reinforced concrete has to be 920 centimeters or 26 times thicker in order to achieve the same thermal transmittance as a 35 centimeter thick Holtz 100 wall system. When considering building performance, it is important to also consider lambda values. 
Lambda is defined as thermal conductivity. It is the insulating property of a material independent of its thickness. Holtz 100's dowel layers result in air cushions between the boards. This results in a lowered lambda value. In addition, we mill slots in our boards once again to enhance the thermal resistive properties. These improved board layers are used in our thermal wall assemblies from 25 millimeters and up. With a lower lambda value, the material is a better insulator. To feel thermally comfortable in a house, we want warm surfaces, rooms that warm up quickly when lighting up a fireplace and do not overheat in the summer. We want a balanced room climate without temperature and humidity fluctuations. Holtz 100 accomplishes this with its thermal mass. The ingredients for determining the thermal mass of a system include thermal conductivity, gross density, and specific heat storage capacity. This chart shows the values that contribute to thermal mass from common building materials. Thermal mass is a material's capacity to absorb, store, and release the sun's heat energy. Its density and levels of conductivity help to keep the internal temperature of a building stable. Objects that have thermal mass have inherent qualities for both heating and cooling. To be effective, thermal mass must be integrated with sound passive design principles. This means having appropriate areas of glazing, facing appropriate directions, with appropriate levels of shading, ventilation, insulation, and thermal mass. Wood is the only building material that combines the properties of poor heat conductance and good heat storage. The U values alone do not provide enough basis to build houses that can air condition themselves without depending on technical systems. Holtz 100 holds the world record among all structural building materials with a certified thermal conductivity coefficient of 0.079. Due to the storage mass of Holtz 100, many Toma houses require 30 to 50 percent less energy in operation. Solid wooden walls are the building's key element, enabling us to dispense with complex building technologies such as ventilation or air conditioning systems. Integrating passive house design principles will enable a high performance building that is both low maintenance and sustainable. Air tightness can be achieved with a continuous insulation layer to prevent air leakage and thermal bridges from the inside out. Apply high performance windows with proper building orientation and shading, as well as sufficient air exchange or ventilation to maintain indoor air quality that is free of moisture and condensation. The minimum requirement for air tightness of a building is generally between 1.6 to 3.5 air exchanges per hour at 50 pascals depending on the building location and standard reference. In this project, Sarah Wiener's house, the Holtz 100 walls were left visible inside and outside. Wind loads and air tightness was resolved by designing a large canopy to shield the buildings on all sides with extra attention to connection details. We were able to achieve an air tightness of 1.6 without any external facade or airtight layer. Holtz 100 buildings can also be designed to meet passive house standard air tightness of 0.6 with proper airtight and ventilated exterior insulated facade. An important prerequisite of healthy living is a damage-free construction void of thermal leaks. Thermographic images help identify thermal bridges or leaks in a building system that impact air tightness values and how energy efficient and thermally comfortable a building is. On the left is a thermographic image of a brick clad building that indicates thermal bridging around the window opening and in the lintel. On the right is a thermographic image of a Holtz 100 house showing consistent temperatures with no thermal bridging around the openings. Thermal bridges can cause condensation between the building layers, resulting in thermal discomfort and reduced thermal properties. Holtz 100 is able to achieve incredible thermal results because of its monolithic wood structure. The Holtz 100 system is untreated and remains breathable and open to diffusion. Additional materials used to complete the exterior facade must also be open to diffusion so that the building can actively work to regulate moisture and maintain indoor thermal comfort. Heat loss calculations of common thermal bridging construction details were simulated for the Holtz 100 building system. 
these thermal bridge simulations indicate a minimal thermal loss coefficient. Building with passive house principles are possible by leveraging the inherent properties of Holtz 100's glueless mass timber. In summary, factors that make sustainable design possible with mass timber are poor heat conduction, high heat storage capacity, reduced thermal bridging, breathable wall and roof system, as well as wind and airtight design details. Wood is considered a combustible material. However, because of its mass volume, Holtz 100 has been able to achieve fire resistant levels similar or even better than brick, concrete, or steel. Holtz 100 has a burning rate of 0.5 to 0.7 millimeters per minute and contains no toxins or VOCs to accelerate the flames. Holtz 100 is fire resistant. The Holtz 100 17 centimeter wall has a fire rating of 60 minutes and the Holtz 100 36.4 centimeter wall has a fire rating of 120 minutes. While flame testing a Holtz 100 wall element, the hottest spot on the cold side after 90 minutes only increased by 1.8 degrees Celsius. Wood is a warm shield and even after hours of external flame testing, its inner core remains unchanged. In the 1970s and 80s, wood houses were not allowed to be built with more than one floor. It was believed to be too dangerous because timber would burn quickly. Dr. Toma decided he wanted a fire safety certificate from the IBS Institute. It's one of the best known institutions of its kind in Europe, and it has the largest furnace for fire testing on the continent. A manager at the Institute said it's a wooden wall, so let's try to run the F30 test and see how it does. The test examines whether a wall can withstand a flame of 1,000 degrees on one side for 30 minutes. Dr. Toma had initially claimed that although made of wood, Holes 100 was a completely different structure and asked them to examine how long the wall would last beyond F30. The manager looked at Dr. Toma as if he was an idiot and replied, I said F30. Dr. Toma insisted. The manager, now irritated, said, listen, I've been working at the Institute for many years, and I have tested everything one could test in the timber industry. You should be glad if it can even withstand the F-30 test. It will definitely not last any longer. Finally, Dr. Toma offered to pay for every minute of the test, and the manager agreed, shook his head, and started the test. After 122 minutes, there was a strange sound. It turned out the tank ran out of oil. After that, the Institute did its own test, at its own expense. In the end, Dr. Toma got an F-180 certificate. It turned out that after three hours of treating a Holes 100 wall with a 1,000-degree flame, the temperature on its other side rose only 1.8 degrees centigrade. The same treatment of a reinforced concrete wall would have caused the temperature on the opposing side to hit 600 degrees even after 20 to 30 minutes, and everything would start to burn. Because of the heat, the concrete begins to crack in layers and release the rebar rods, which then melt. It may seem unbelievable, but even a thick tree trunk thrown into a fire will often remain unburned while the fire eventually fades and dies out. Only some of its surface would be charred as a result. When the source of the fire disappears, the trunk stops burning as well. For wood to burn well, it must be cut into small pieces and surrounded by air. Today, Dr. Thomas' company builds certified firewalls made of wood for industrial needs. Holtz 100 is life safety. The Holtz 100 system with its paneled units is not a rigid or stiff one in terms of statics. The wall structure made of doweled parts in case of an earthquake results in a flexibility demonstrating outstanding resistance to seismic and horizontal accelerations that occur during an earthquake. Moonwood harvesting was not only utilized in ancient Rome. 
After the first book was published, Dr. Toma was unexpectedly visited by a delegation from Japan led by the highest monk of the Japanese Buddhist monastery, Horyuji. The monastery is home to the world's oldest wooden buildings, erected in 607 AD. As it turned out, those buildings had also been built from moon wood. The head of the monastery wanted to become acquainted with Dr. Toma's technology because one of his students had left him with a copy of Dr. Toma's book. After observing everything, the monks left with a word that Dr. Toma is turning the wheels of something great, because Buddhists believe that one should live in such a way which does not leave any traces behind. Since Dr. Thomas' technology does not harm the environment and does not leave waste throughout its entire life cycle, it certainly aligns with their principles. At the end, the monk promised his support. Dr. Thomas said goodbye, but questioned how they would be able to support him all the way from Japan and did not expect to hear back from them. However, two weeks later, a Japanese publisher called to inform Dr. Toma that he received publication orders for a Japanese translation of his book. Following its publication in Japan, Dr. Toma started getting orders for Holes 100 from Japan. At this time, entering the Japanese market for building materials was considered virtually impossible even for large corporations, let alone such a small company like Dr. Toma's. To build houses in Japan, however, one needed to get the most restrictive certificate for earthquake resistance. Japan has at its disposal the largest platform for simulating seismic shocks, which was where Dr. Toma's employees built a Holes 100 house for testing. Dr. Toma couldn't be present for the testing, and he was very surprised when his employee called him to say they failed to get certified. The certificate is only issued when the tested house falls apart. That's the seismic level at which the construction fails is determined. However, Dr. Toma's house withstood the highest level of seismic shocks that could be simulated. The structure of the house had to be weakened by removing some of the connecting pegs so the house could fall apart so the certificate could be issued. The certificate they finally got was of the highest safety class that can be obtained in Japan. This is the Haramura Church. It's near Fukushima in Japan, which withstood a well-known earthquake. Moreover, it's capable of surviving typhoons with wind speeds of up to 200 kilometers per hour. One should know that for concrete, it is irreversibly damaged once it passes the breaking point. Wood, on the other hand, flexes and shifts into the elastic phase and then returns to its original form. Solid wood is not only the safest material against fires, floods, and earthquakes, it can also protect against high-frequency electromagnetic radiation, with the ability to fully block cell phone frequencies for surveillance purposes. Holtz 100 is 99.9% .9 effective against electromagnetic radiation. We spend up to 90% of our lives indoors with exposure to harmful high-frequency radiation. People can experience health consequences such as fatigue, loss of concentration, asthma, pressure, and pain in various parts of the body as a result of radiation exposure. This graph shows the radiation shielding effects of four different building systems, Holtz 100, reinforced concrete, brick cladding, and a prefabricated house with mineral wool insulation. The data indicates Holtz 100 with up to 99.9% .9 shielding at higher decibels than all the other building systems. Here we tested multiple Holtz 100 wall thicknesses with additional building assembly combinations. Contrary to all expectations, Holtz 100 shielded considerably better than brick and other light frame construction systems. Dampening values for a 17.6 cm thick Holtz 100 wall indicate 25% penetration at 900 MHz, 10% penetration at 1800 MHz, 1% penetration at 4 GHz, 
and less than 1 per thousand percent penetration at 6.5 gigahertz. Holtz 100 is radiation shielding. It also provides excellent airborne and impact soundproofing up to 63 decibels. Holtz 100 is healthy living. Holtz 100 is the answer for healthy living with its eco-friendly, state-of-the-art, 100% natural wood construction without glues, toxic chemicals, or VOCs. A study at Joannum Research, the largest non-university research institute in Austria, has finally proven that two hours of heart health can be saved in mass wood structures. Holtz 100 is suitable for individuals with hypersensitivities and allergies because of the fungal resistance of the moon wood we use, as well as solid wood's natural reduction to dust. Holtz 100 is a mass timber product that can be used for floor, wall, and roof structures. Our wall systems can be further categorized into standard, thermal, and soundproofing wall elements. This chart summarizes the Holtz 100 elements with their respective functions and overall thicknesses. For quick assembly, Holtz 100 pre-drills the exact location of the screws needed to connect our elements. The advantage of the rebated joint is better alignment and faster assembly on site. For the cross space, a damp barrier is required between the concrete foundation and the Holtz 100 ceiling element. For exterior wall elements, due to the thickness and size, they have to be installed with a threshold. All the required screw connections will be specified by our engineers according to static and building physics requirements. Planning for services. 3 by 5 centimeter shafts for electrical service lines are pre-milled into the core of the Holtz 100 walls, ready to lay cables before delivery. In the case of increased rough-in requirements, several shafts can be milled next to each other. Access to the shafts are provided at the floor level. The electrician can drill holes at the desired height to lay cables. This procedure saves a lot of time and nerves on the construction site, however requires precise electrical planning in advance. Should the locations for services need to be modified on site, grooves of any size can be milled within the surface layers. Water pipes are not integrated into the walls. These are veneered with a facing layer and routed out via fall shafts. Long timber screws are used for the assembly of the Holtz 100 elements, exterior insulation, wood battens, and wood structures. Exterior insulation. Possible exterior insulation that can be used with the Holtz 100 system include mineral wool, wood fiber, and hemp insulation. The most common is the wood fiber insulation. Other sustainable insulation options include sheep wool, for round openings. Sustainability was the concept behind the wood cube project. This informed the decision to use chemically untreated carbon neutral wood as a construction material. The wood cube is made entirely of wood with the exception of the foundation and access core. Wood cube was originally planned to be built with CLT. 
However, with their decision to switch to our building system, Holtz 100, it presented new possibilities that other building materials could simply not reach, including ideal building standards that surpassed even strict European building codes, such as fire resistance. The wood cube building shell is one of the most crucial construction elements in the application of smart materials. The manufacturing of Holtz 100 exterior wall was achieved without the use of glues or chemicals. With the natural properties of solid wood preserved and unaltered, the Holtz 100 building wall system can dynamically react to environmental changes, enabling energy flow and maintaining indoor climate conditions. The wood cube achieves an energy demand of 18 kilowatt hour per meter square per year, which is roughly equivalent to the passive house standard without the use of glue insulated materials that prevent natural diffusion. Wood cube is the first category 4 building in Germany to be built without adding additional non combustible fire protection layers. The Venlo City Hall is the first public cradle to cradle whole building design in the Netherlands focusing on a healthy work environment and sustainable innovations. Materials were chosen for their sustainability and life cycle impact. C2C certified products from 21 companies were specified throughout the building. The building operates on renewable energy sources including a three-story greenhouse that provides natural heating for the building and heat storage. The most impressive feature of the building is its northern green facade. More than 100 different plants make up the biodiversity of the living green wall. The green facade covers 2,000 meters square and was designed to filter the surrounding air pollutants and offset the emissions from the nearby motorway. The inner leaf of the structural wall is made of Holtz 100 elements. This makes the interior solid wood shell structure of the Venlo City Hall completely cradle to cradle. The absence of glues and chemicals allows for future internal refurbishing and in which the wood can be disassembled and upcycled into new and useful products without hazardous waste. The Arc Neo is the first energy autonomous solid wood building with zero grams of CO2 emissions in Austria. The three story industrial building complex is built from 36.4 cm thick Toma Holtz 100 thermal system and steel framework. The building is active in producing more energy than it consumes. Geothermal energy from a depth of over 200 meters and electric energy produced from 1,300 meter squared rooftop solar power system is utilized as the primary energy sources of the building. Wood construction was chosen instead of concrete due to cement being a major contributor to climate change and the immense increase of CO2 emissions. Toma Holtz 100 was responsible for 2,500 cubic meters of timber construction processed into floors, walls, and ceilings in the Arc Neo. Absence of glue between layers create microscopic air gaps. There are additional air channels between some layers allowing for improved thermal insulation. In this field, it has been so far assumed that the highest heat transfer coefficient or the U-value that wood can achieve is 0.14. However, that's true for glue laminated wood. Unglued and mechanically linked walls of Dr. Thomas have achieved a result twice as efficient, a U-value of 0.078. As such, a 36 centimeter thick Holes 100 wall would provide a similar insulation to a 75 centimeter thick solid glue laminated wooden wall or a 10 meter thick reinforced concrete wall. Leaving out chemicals and toxins in the processing of Holes 100 surprisingly led to breaking the world record for thermal insulation for building materials. The results were so unbelievable that initially the Fraunhofer Institute in Stuttgart refused to issue a certificate. Over time, both the Fraunhofer and the Graz Technical University confirmed the results and issued the relevant certificates. The U-value does not tell us everything. However, it turns out to be a poor manipulation created to favor thermal insulation manufacturers. 
In a laboratory experiment at the University of Graz, three walls with identical heat transfer coefficients were compared. An internally insulated prefabricated wall made of gypsum and particle board, a brick wall with polystyrene insulation, and a 30-centimeter solid wood wall of holes 100. The test room was at room temperature without heating, and the outside temperature was minus 10 degrees centigrade. The test measured the time in which the internal wall would reach 0 degrees centigrade. It took two days for the prefab wall to get there. The insulated brick wall took 10 days. And the hole's 100 solid wood wall? It took more than a month. It is hard to imagine, but the dense hard timber that you can crack your head against is nothing but transformed air. Trees draw carbon dioxide from the air, they return oxygen, and use carbon to build the most incredible structure that mankind knows as wood. It only utilizes water and a small amount of minerals from the earth for this purpose. It is a structure so complex that the inner surface of one cubic centimeter of wood consists of 150 to 200 square meters in surface area. Not only is this excellent structure the best natural heat insulator, but it also accumulates and stores heat well. In his earlier years, Dr. Toma had already built many of the world's most energy-efficient homes. But even more important, he wanted to prove that it was possible to create an absolutely energy-self-sufficient home without an external source of energy like photovoltaics. He accomplished this by using other ancient methods. Therefore, he decided to build a five-floor house in the Berna Oberland in the Matterhorn area of the Alps. It keeps an optimized facade using intelligent glass elements that during the day, the sun falls through the windows on so-called sun traps, their black stone floors. They warm up and act as short-lived heat accumulators while the high natural heat insulation properties of the wooden walls act as long-lasting heat storage. Now, the house doesn't have any heating or ventilation, and its air quality and temperature are constantly monitored as part of a research project. Its indoor temperature in winter has never fallen below 18 degrees centigrade. This is the state-of-the-art Austrian film archive. It is home to 70,000 historical nitro film reels. Fumes from the film erode rebars and reinforced concrete, and therefore wood becomes the most suitable for construction. The archive requires no external source of electricity, and the constantly monitored temperature is at 3 degrees Celsius year-round since fluctuations are unacceptable. In the summer, the facade warms up to an average temperature of 20 degrees Celsius from the outside. Only a small solar-powered air conditioner is in use. To get that result, the building was modeled after a red ant forest ant hill. The larval hatching chamber at the center of the mound is exceptionally resistant to variations in outdoor temperatures. For this purpose, a research project was created using the best engine thermodynamics specialist from BMW. It turned out that wood has two completely unique thermodynamic properties. One kilogram of wood accumulates two and a half times as much heat as one kilogram of stone. And the time required to change its temperature is much longer than any other natural raw material. In 2012, Dr. Thomas' company built an energy-self-sufficient five-floor commercial building in Hamburg. It is the Arkneo in Oberndorf, Tirol. It is a 6,600-square-meter office complex in which the tenant's leases say they will not have to pay a penny for heating year-round. The whole complex built entirely from wood. No chemicals used at all. Its temperature is regulated by heat pumps that are powered by photovoltaic cells located on the roof.